Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Haul O'Clock! With another package from Bricklink.com that is a bit small for me, but uh, it's the contents that count. Now the reason this package is relatively small is because it's full of wonderful minifigure parts largely. Uh, both from the Builder minifigure wall, which I have very little access to, so always like a vendor when they've got uh, a good supply from the tower. Uh, and also Disney as well, so this was actually labelled BAM Disney, uh, and we should have loads of loads of treasure within. Although it's all fit into two bags, which is a bit of a concern. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the non-minifig one first of all. Oh, very securely packaged. Tip all this out. Oh, there is one minifigure in there. We may as well start with him. Oh, and the dog for the collection. Uh, so the first minifigure is this one, who I'm reliably informed is called Baymax, who is a character I'm not familiar with, and I think that's his charging dock there, because he's a robot. I thought he was uh, relatively uh, innocuous enough to be in my eventual uh, cantina scene, Alien Cantina, and I just loved these big arms, and that was the other reason why I got him. I think the character's really big, like a big blobby sort of uh, Michelin Man type kind of character. Uh, but anyway, yeah, he's different enough to definitely warrant a purchase. Uh, and yeah, you'll have to tell me if he's uh, supposed to be an android or if he's a full-blown robot or just an alien or what. I don't know. So anyway, that is quite cool. I'm sure I can use that print somewhere as well. Only one of those, unfortunately. But yeah, good start. Another one from that Disney range was a dog that I just had to get. It's a familiar shape, of course, dog with knob, uh, but uh, it's got deranged eyes, a bit of a funny mouth, and the best feature of all, a massive lolling tongue out at the side. So when I saw that, I just thought, yep, that has to be bought and owned immediately. So this dog is called Dante, uh, and that's all I know about him, really. So yeah, a very nice dog for the dog collection. Lovely. Right, so here we've got loads of bar pieces. Oh, good, I need some of these. These are for the undersea uh, in clear. They're just for attaching, well, sharks on and things like that that are swimming around. Very useful with both the bar end, a uh, single stud, so it can be sort of positioned at an angle, uh, and a double stud for something a bit more heavy. You can even use these in pairs, which I did on the um, uh, Brick Nottingham Post building like that to give it a bit of strength when it's something really heavy, and that just stops it bending quite so much. But there's quite a few of those, so that's great. Some 1x3 tiles I must have needed, and lots of these in trans neon uh, yellow. Uh, and that could be for under the sea as well, because they will glow on that bottom level, of course, so there'll probably be some used there. Uh, but these are also for my Alien Conquest uh, ships, so they can all be sort of firing. Pew, 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 pew! So I'm uh, yeah collecting a lot of those as well to make my swarm of alien UFOs attached to my ceiling even bigger and more active. Uh, yeah, I've been really collecting the pieces for uh, building more of those uh, saucers because they only form parts of the set. So it's not that economical to buy the whole set just to get the saucer out of it. Uh, and it's actually quite easy to build them up from uh, stock pieces, really. Uh, there's a few difficult, hard to find ones like these, uh, which make up the ball turret on the tripod one. Uh, so that's really useful to get there. Uh, so they are for uh, those flying saucers. Got some water pieces. I think these must be for my fire brigade. Can't remember why I got those. Uh, some red horn pieces. I think they're just very uh, cheap. So I got those probably for under the sea. Maybe they're something, a uh, little tentacle field, <laughs> sort of, or a big anemone or something like that in red. Uh, don't remember them. They were for my roads, which I think I did anyway. And these are for my old grey project which I'm not going to tell you about so yes all good and very useful and then on to wow just one more bag but full of absolute gold I think so here we go in no particular order we have got we're uh, throwing it around already a purple stripy torso of a very jazzy suit and I just thought it was really good fun just for some wacky character to have uh, green tie clashing with the purple there and obviously that's from the Joker character who came in two sets including 70906, the Joker Notorious Lowrider from 2017, which is a pretty funny set actually, uh, with these sort of low rise, uh, low ride uh, wheels and, and I don't know, play features in the uh, back and all the rest of it. So anyway, I don't know exactly who's going to have this ridiculously loud suit, but it's uh, definitely funny. I'll need to have my own purple arms of course, that's just how it came. Uh, first of a few Builder Minifigure Tower pieces, it's the 
skirt or dress or robe parts, I suppose, in this case, for the Blue Wizard character, which somebody gifted me the torso of. So that would just finish that off with these stars and uh, moons. That's really good. Talking of skirts or robes, this is very ornate, isn't it? On normal blue, but it's a lot older. This is actually from Chima, uh, from the character Ewald, who's kind of a bird man type dude. Uh, and this is his torso as well. Just wanted these two parts. Oh, yes. He looks very, very glam indeed. Uh, so he came in two Chima sets, including 70011, Eagle's Castle from 2013. Uh, so I guess that makes him an eagle, actually, rather than the Birdman dude. <laughs> but anyway, that's quite a weird set, actually, with two sort of um, things that you go together with, like uh, stunts bikes. It looks like they're supposed to sort of clash in the middle and smash and see who wins. But anyway, uh, this is the character uh, presiding over that uh, debacle. And uh, I just thought it was a really beautiful robe, robe for my castle scene. So I don't know if that's a wizard uh, or a lady in a very ornate dress, or if maybe it's some sort of priest or something like that, some guy dressed in something very ornate as well. Though that is really, really good. I'm glad I got that. Very nice indeed. Uh, yeah, because I want lots of sort of civilians watching uh, the joust as audience members, not just the knights taking part. Uh, now, this is a little bit of a shame in that uh, I just got gifted one of these and I've got two and only really need one. But hey-ho, uh, I don't think it will go to waste. I can have it a bit of scenery or something like that. Uh, so this uh, is obviously the Dragon Knight breastplate uh, that came in a few sets like uh, 70404, King's Castle from 2013. We have got, oh yes, talking of uh, audience members. So this is kind of a bent hook, I suppose, and it came off the top of the DeLorean. Uh, which isn't actually called a DeLorean in the set name. I don't know why, if it's some sort of licensing thing, but anyway, it must be. Uh, set 10300, which is actually called the Back to the Future Time Machine from 2022, i.e., yeah, the DeLorean. Uh, we've, we've had it in blue on sort of Bo Peep sets and stuff like that, but this is the first time I had it in black, and it is very large, actually, for a minifigure scale. But I wanted it to be kind of the um, crook, I suppose you'd call it, for uh, a priest or some sort of bishop or something. I do try and keep religion out of uh, my city, but I figure for a medieval European castle, uh, we'd probably have some sort of bishop or, or other, uh, you know, with uh, one of these and, and sort of pronouncing fire and brimstone on the pe peasants and stuff like that. So anyway, that was the idea there. I hadn't quite realised how big it was. Actually, it could be even ugh, the Ewald character who's holding it couldn't it so you get the idea that's very big and pronounced maybe a bit too big for a normal sort of bishop's crook uh, but anyway that's what the thought was there might have to rethink that one uh some gray hair with a bun on the back i guess that must have been building minifigure or something some more breastplates we've got some really nice ones here this one's purple with what looks like a wolf on the front i would say uh, and uh, then we've got a light blue one, or rather, what would that be? Medium blue, I suppose, uh, with this spread, uh, well, falcon, I suppose, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if these have got, if that's a, a specific bird or if that's a fox or something. If you know, then you'll have to tell me. Uh, but they both came in the set 8876 Scorpion Prison Cave from 2005. We've got an actual giant scorpion, which takes me back to sort of Warhammer and stuff. Um, and a horse-mounted catapult, which is a bit fun for firing at, and uh, refreshingly, uh, a man in the cage rather than a damsel in distress. Uh, so yeah, I guess one of these guys is trying to re uh, rescue the other one. Um, then we've got more pieces from the Builder Minifigure Wall with this uh, double-sided uh, skirt piece, very sort of futuristic. I guess that's Ninjago-y for the eventual Ninjago area. Uh, we've got a few parts here from just random city sets as well. That is a torso that's been in a few sets, like the 40526 electric scooters and charging dock from 2022. But I really like the multicoloured sort of uh, paint splats with the mountain logo on. That's sort of like a sportswear brand in uh, both Brick Nottingham and uh, <laughs> all city sets, I suppose. But yeah, I really like that. Kind of suggests he likes paintboarding, if you ask me. Uh, we've got a couple of eyes. I keep buying pairs of eyes to do different big beasties under the sea. And this is no exception. Uh, so these are from um, the uh, Sanctorum set, aren't they? 
the uh, 76060, uh, Doctor Strange's Sanctorum uh, 2016 version. That's the one where it's just sort of the inside room with all the red tentacles coming out of the wall, uh, isolated. But they're nice yellow eyes. They look very fearsome appearing from the depths. We've got some more Disney pieces, and I got two of these because I love them so much. These are from the character Tiana, uh, and they say Tiana's place, or Tiana. I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that wrong, but anyway. Um, and I just really like the iconography of these. Now, I didn't want the character because she's got the wrong skin colour for my uh, city, and I have everyone being yellow, uh, Lego skinned, all the same. Um, but I don't mind that in the poster picture at all. Uh, I just couldn't use the character, so all I wanted was the tile, and this person was selling them on their own. So yeah, I can use these as adverts for a future place called Tiana's Place, uh, and I think they'll really brighten up any scene. I just adore them. They really look like those sort of French prints you'd get, the sort of screen printing uh, that became the rage probably <laughs> over 100 years ago now, uh, always advertising bicycles and wine and stuff like that but uh, that just looks absolutely great you can imagine the jazz going down there in fact you could almost call our jazz uh place that we've already got tiana's place couldn't we and have it advertising them um i'm getting more and more of the uh, nexo night visors now this one looks very fearsome indeed with a sort of pointed nose guard and uh going over the helmet with these little slits for eyes it almost looks like uh, shredders helmet but a bit different but yeah it's got similarities hasn't it uh, and this one comes from the character uh lance uh and he came in lots of sets like 70312 lance's mecha horse from 2016 and i'll just be using that to give a lot of variety to my knights in my castle scene lovely uh now this is a very interesting piece uh it's just the yellow head that i was after in the well i'd call it a black balaclava but i don't think it is quite that <laughs> sort of a veil i suppose um and this was from the character masako from the lego ninjago movie she was in two sets including 70629 piranha attack from 2018 uh and i was just searching for a yellow face peering out of black because i'd already bought from disney uh, 100 series the wicked witch or wicked queen anyway the one who uh, looks into the mirror and asks if she's the fairest of them all and i wanted to use her and obviously i can swap out her hands very easily but not that face so i thought ah is there another face that i could do a swap with and da, 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 it turns out there is because i thought this could be another character in my castle scene and if i just replace everything but change the skin tone I think that looks all right. Imagine those hands are yellow as well. Yay, it worked. <laughs> so that was a good plan. So if you want to do the same thing, it's quite easy. Just a character called Masako. Very nice. I like that. Good, good. Right. Uh, what else have we got? We've got some random heads. I'm just going to make a tower. Right. So the bottom one is a build a minifigure wall one, just a vampire. Uh, I think it's the same as this spider lady, but slightly different colouring. You wouldn't barely notice unless they were side by side, but, uh, you know, I like to have them all. The next one's really interesting. Uh, it's the Troll Queen, or Sorceress, uh, from the set 7097, Trolls Mountain Fortress from 2009, which seems to be incredibly rare and expensive. So when I saw the head on its own, with that sort of zany <laughs> one and a half eyes, uh, and that mouth and all the rest of it, I thought, wow, yeah, I just have to go for that. They've even got some sort of lady <laughs> luscious lips in between those uh, snaggled teeth. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I thought I'd get that while I could. Maybe I'll just make the leader of my troll brigade when I get around to that uh, even uh, more distinct. Uh, then we got this one, which is the head from the uh, Evil Witch or the Claudette character from uh, Agents uh, included in set. 8637, the volcano base, uh, basically Dr. Inferno's girlfriend. Uh, and I've been looking for an alternate head that's on the yellow skin colour that I like uh, with sort of eye makeup and, and mouth makeup and so on. So I can add it to the uh, um, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles character, uh, Karai, that came with the skin tone. And I've bought a couple. I'm not really happy with them. There's one that I got that was uh, from the... Uh, a video line that kind of had good makeup but this one 
I think looks a bit evil as well. So I think that could be the right answer. I've just mislaid the Karai figure at the moment, so I can't actually show you with it uh, in place. Then we've got the double-sided head of a rather cool dude there. I've got quite a few of them with these uh, eye features on and, um, and the sort of mask on one side. They're all from the Galaxy Squad, of course. And this one is called Max Solar Flare, which is probably a reference to his uh, fiery hair colour. Uh, but that is really nice, so I'll look forward to using him. I think I'll use all of them as uh, ADU agents or something like that. I don't know. Uh, that's Alien Defense Unit, I think it's called, yeah. Uh, so that's nice. He came in the mega-huge Galactic Titan, <laughs> 70709, uh, from 2013. Uh, and then on the top there, looks like a relatively normal lady's head. But I need normal lady's head, so that's cool by me. Never enough, strangely. I always say that, don't I? Uh, then I've got this lovely hairpiece, which I'll add to that lady just for the moment to make her bald uh, with very interesting side hair uh, that came from the character Will Shakespeare from the Lego movie. Uh, and basically, I just think that would be some scientist or something who's got rather interesting hair in the modern day. Or maybe I could actually give it to this uh, priest or or something in my castle scene. Actually, maybe it'll be better used there where it looks a bit more old fashioned. Yes, I think I'll do that actually. So I'll attach that tower to this torso. Make that stand up, I'll probably knock it over now. Uh, and then the first two of some really good uh, energy effect pieces. Now I'm just gonna pause on those because I think there are more in the last sub bag. Da -da -da. And there are, let me hook them all out. So we've got two red ones and three green ones. Now these come in sort of packs of six, so there are six different shapes, uh, and you can get uh, them in all in red and all in green. I just cherry-picked the ones I wanted, basically. So the first one I, I really liked was this sort of, I don't know, energy explosion uh, in green, but I thought it looked really good on the ground, as sort of a pile of sludge, so maybe it could be sort of uh, uh, the ooze that made the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or something congealing on the floor, some sort of leak you don't want to have anywhere near you. Uh, and then it could be sort of being dripped into, you know, almost by an aerial piece or something in the same colour. Uh, so, yeah, that I just thought was great on its own. So that's what that is. Uh, and then the other four I thought I'd use to make nice wizard staffs. So I was going to have a green one uh, and it would have a sort of a twisty stem. Then the bit you can grab, which would probably be like a lightsaber hilt or something like that. And then as the header, this, well, sort of comet style piece. So you imagine, I mean, it's quite tall actually, maybe it's too tall for a banner or maybe uh, a, a sort of um, staff, but maybe I can use them as two different staffs then. I don't know, but anyway, or maybe a staff in action, maybe that's the actual staff and that's what he's firing out the end of it. But that was my thinking. Uh, but that is a really nice one for the sort of a, a green wizard. And I've got a green wizard, so that would go well with him. He's sort of uh, the master of all the green energy arts. And then similarly for maybe a baddie wizard, I could have uh, this one with this jaggedy sort of entwined two sort of energy bolts uh, and then this almost sun I suppose on the top uh, explosion looks really nice really sort of big sunburst so yeah I can have a great big wizard battle uh, which is exactly what was happening in the donor set actually uh, 76415 the battle of Hogwarts 2023 edition uh, where at the front you can see the Slytherin Emperor battling Anakin Potter for supremacy. Yes, of course. Uh, right, swiftly moving on. <clears throat> uh, we've got the hood piece in brown, and that's to go with the troll sorceress. I could probably get my own, or I might already have a brown cloak. I could always technically chop the end of it to make it really choppy for her. Give her a normal troll torso, and we might have a sort of very cheap version of the troll queen because it is crazy money. It's like 20, 30 pounds or something absolutely ridiculous. Um, we've got another visor. Now, this one is kind of more of a chin guard, I suppose. It goes around the bottom there. It's got these sort of wing pieces around the ears where it clips onto a regular helmet. Uh, and this one was from the character Clay, uh, which came in sets like 70315, Clay's Rumble Blade from 2016, which kind of reminds me of. Uh, He-Man's, what was it, an, an attack track or something like that, where it had the sort of, it was half wheels, half uh, conveyor belt type things, uh, tracks, and it was, yeah, a bit crazy, and so is that. So <laughs> anyway, that's another variety there for Knights at My Joust. More builder minifigure piece. We've got this sort of corset torso in lavender with lacing on the back. That could be 
old world as well as new world couldn't it quite traditional looking so that's versatile this one's definitely old world uh, I just absolutely love this 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 uh, to me just screams like a merchant because it seems to have at least in my eye uh, a bunch of grapes on the front so I reckon that this guy is selling all the wine to all the incredibly important people in my castle scene and they love wine so they love him and he's very wealthy as a result <laughs> that's my theory anyway uh, so he's called nobleman and he's got his money pouch there on his belt uh, and he came only in the set 10223 kingdom's joust from 2012 which is another very expensive set that i'm managing to piece together the best bits uh, of relatively cheaply oh yeah see there's more grapes on the back uh, so yeah, he's going to have pride of place. He'd have a very good seat since he's provide, uh, providing the liquid refreshment for the uh, for the day. So yeah, like him. Um, then ahead for him, or maybe a, a knight is this one. I think it came with a dragon knight, that nice beard and gritted teeth. We've got more gritted teeth on some more heads and ugh, some other ones as well. So yeah, Dragon Knight there. This one, I think, has been on a million different knights. Pirates. Uh, <laughs> I think he was also a, an agent, Agent Charge, uh, in the old agent's line as well. So yeah, he's been around. But I like the good teeth, so he could be a jouster probably. We've got a carol singer here with rosy cheeks because it's cold outside. And my favourite face, this one with the mouth open in full song. So if ever I need a pop star uh, or... Just somebody singing for another reason, then uh, there we go. So she came in the uh, 10249 Winter Toy Shop set uh, from 2015, if you're interested. And there's a male one uh, as well, so I wouldn't mind getting his head as well uh, to get some uh, nice singers going, uh, maybe in a choir or something like that. Uh, and then this one is even more interesting. So you see all the sort of foil on the back uh, and on the front around the yellow features of two eyes and a gritted teeth mouth. Uh, and this you'll remember from the Lego movie as being um, Robo Emmett uh, when he pretends to be a robot. Uh, and that's in set 70816, Benny's Spaceship, Spaceship, Spaceship from 2014. Uh, and, well, it's just a great scene that everyone will remember fondly, I'm sure. Uh, but I got an idea way back from one of you, Always like getting ideas from you lot. Uh, and it was to make basically a crazy person who <laughs> wrapped his own head in foil because he'd heard all of the propaganda emanating from the uh, alternative information radio station uh, that makes up part of my mall. And I thought that was a great idea. So it went on the uh, wanted list then. It's taken me this long to fulfill. But uh, yes, that's really good. So he can be hanging around outside the mall looking really worried. Uh, he'll be a supporter of the... Uh, DJ uh, Clint Rage uh, because he's telling the truth but you know he's definitely scared of the SSP uh, and everyone else I'm pretty sure uh, and that set's also quite cool because it, it has a really good sort of baddie pilot in it I hadn't noticed before with a little sort of baddie ship as well uh, and I really like the space wild style as well she looks very uh, great as well so lots of yummy stuff in that set uh, but yeah for that idea I suppose I'd better give you a bedoying <laughs> Whoever you were, you know who you are. Uh, yeah, that is a really nice foil-wrapped head. I like it. Right, so there's another tower. Have we got another torso to put them on? We'll put them on Ewald. Oh, he looks a bit funny there. <laughs> More building minifigure pieces. We've got a Christmas jumper. Bit late, but lovely. With two reindeer on it, I suppose, and some snowflakes and so on. One-sided, but that's really nice. I think that's unique to the building minifigure wall. Uh, we've got some shields. Ah, now these are the last ones I need for my skeletons, because I think I am going to have a skeleton sort of fantasy contingent turning up to the joust. Uh, and they are on the absolutely fantastic set, 7029, the Skeleton Ship Attack from 2007. Wow, what a ship, what a sail on that. I want that sail. <laughs> I've got nowhere to put it, but I really want it. <laughs> oh, actually, I want that whole set, but I think it's worth hundreds. Uh, but yeah, that's absolutely great, isn't it? A lovely ship sailing in, full of skeletons, ready to invade. <laughs> Makes you shiver. Uh, but anyway, two of the round shields are in all sorts of sets, including that very expensive one. And I think I've got enough for my army to be going on with. Well, not really army, contingent, I suppose. Uh, talking of the skeletons, I've got this red hair for them. And you might think, well, skeletons don't have red hair. And usually they don't, but uh, you know they did a lot of chess sets um, 
in all sorts of different themes, like, you know, everything from Vikings to Castle to Pirates and all the rest of it. Well, when they did the Castle chess set 852001, uh, the, the queen they did, uh, as in the chess queen, uh, had this hair. And I think that is one of the most sinister looking <laughs> minifigures I've ever seen. Uh, so I wanted to replicate that. So I've got the exact same dark red hair to put on a skeleton, probably as a wig, let's face it, because the rest of her skin's fallen off. Um, <laughs> so, well, just to look as sinister as that one. So she can be the female leader of that group. Uh, maybe she'll be the one holding uh, the red staff. That would be quite appropriate, wouldn't it? So I think I still need uh, her robes. I've got one of those breastplates for her, so I just have to get a torso with the right coloured arms on. I can switch that around. That should be fine. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to building her. Um, more Disney pieces. This is the top hat with uh, skull and crossbones on from the character Dr. Facilier, who I'd never heard of. Um, so that's really nice. Ideas for who should be wearing that. Maybe it should be Robin. <laughs> but a very nice hat that is. Uh, what else came from that line? We've also got the uh, Queen of Hearts hair piece, which has got this little crown perched on top. And I just really like that as well for one of my uh, people viewing the joust going on. Maybe she's a princess or something, so she can't wear the full-blown thing or the queen will get very unhappy. Uh, but maybe she's, uh, I don't know, the first princess, Princess Royal or something like that, with very short hair, but uh, a very nice little crown. <laughs> I like it. Uh, so that's good. Well, let's try it on her, see how it looks. Yeah, it looks a bit odd, <laughs> especially with that black. But uh, yeah, I think that looks good. So yeah, why she's getting away wearing a crown, I don't know. But anyway, everyone's probably got their own rank and there's rules that are very specific as to what you can and can't wear. Uh, another one of those skate hats with hair attached. Just really like those. Get a few more of those for my eventual skate park. This is a really interesting and cool hair piece. don't know which way around it goes. Let's put it on this guy. It goes, yeah, with a bunch at the top. There we go. Uh, and... It's just sort of a hair wrap type piece uh, with this lovely curly hair coming out the top. So that is really nice. I think that's been in a couple of friend sets. Uh, yeah, like uh, 41701 Street Food Market from 2022. Uh, and yeah, it's just great, isn't it? I think there's another colour as well. So I'll have to look out for that. Um, then a few more parts from the Builder Minifigure wall. There's this hair that essentially is pretty normal. And relatively boring but is unique to the wall there's this two by two tile which is obviously a present build a minifigure i generally just search bam when i'm in a, a store and a lot of the parts that are build a minifigure wall have that in their description not all of them they should do there are some categories which show you uh, which sort of collate them all together as well so you can add them uh, to your wanted list but yeah it's a bit hit and miss but i i do use that to fill in all of my gaps and here are two more uh, this one is from a green uh, a Halloween uh, um, wizard, yeah, with a skull on the chain and sort of spikes on. I'm not sure somebody didn't gift me one of these, uh, but anyway, just to make sure I've got this one as well. So maybe he'll be the one holding the green energy uh, setup. So that'll be good. Yeah, I really like that skull on his neck. I don't think I have seen that before because... I'm really enjoying looking at that. That's really good. Like it. Like it a lot. Uh, and then last, and well, not least, yes, but not amazing, is this tennis shirt, which is just a build a minifigure one as well. But I like the fact it's double-sided and it's just more variety for my city. So, wow, <laughs> that is it. Not the hugest in volume, as we said right at the top, but uh, a great variety. And mainly, I think, for my castle scene, I must have been going crazy that day. This is quite an old order that I haven't got to because it wasn't that pressing. But we've got three bre breastplates. We've got robes here. The Ewald one, I think, is my favourite. With all this glistening gold, front and back. We've got loads of good heads, including that foil one for the brilliant idea sent in by one of you. Two more visors. Two more shields. The hair for the scary, scary witch queen. The merchant torso. I'm fairly sure... That is what made me just finally commit to this store. You're like, right, that's it. I'm buying it. We're going ahead. Uh, the head of the troll queen as well. This one, 
the Tianus place times two, all these energy features. I mean, this is just pure gold, isn't it? And another dog for my collection. I mean, you can't go too wrong with a, a store like this. I'm sure you'll agree. So that is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to integrate these pieces into my city, not to mention in the cabinet and onto the ceiling uh, by way of some UFOs or some haul. <laughs> So as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. And if you want to send something to a future brick haul, you can by sending it to the usual PO box address. I'm not going away, so they should make it through. Uh, and uh, next time on Robin Hood Bricks, I think I'm going to have to persist with an ongoing project rather than start another new one, because I said I was going to try and tie up some loose ends. Uh, and well, last time I started a new one. <laughs> anyway, so I'll try and finish that uh, railway carriage of the pieces arrive in time or I will get on with my pyramid in the deep sea cabinet or something else that we've already started rather than starting something new. That's my pledge. I may not stick to it. Anyway, <laughs> whatever we get up to, I'm sure it'll be great fun. So until then, see you. Now, I don't think either of these hair pieces go with these heads. No. <laughs>